Can you tell our readers a little about your professional journey and how did you come to your current role, position? It was the time when I was an engineering student and I decided to opt out. Yes, undoubtedly, it was a very difficult decision to make but I was motivated and I believed in my vision. Initially, it was full of challenges, choosing what could be the right thing to do and what not to but eventually everything was falling in place. It was the drive to do something extraordinary and build a business of my own that propelled me to use my semester fees for my startup and there has been no looking back ever since. The passion to provide employment rather than taking employment drove me towards this path. Before CS's founder, I incepted another startup that did not succeed but it was the experiences and the huge opportunity to launch a website design and development brand in the industry that motivated me towards the position that I am at. The vision, website for everyone, was so engraved within that always kept us going, as a result of which, we, CSS founder Private Limited are one of the best website design and development company all over the world. What are the biggest challenges you have faced in your life and how did you overcome them? The biggest challenge is making decisions at an initial stage, dropping out of an engineering college is the one, I can recall right now. If I had completed my engineering, I would have been at a different place working for some organization or an employee at a MNC but I choose to chase my dream and here I am now. I always believed in myself and had set clear goals for myself, never gave up. It is never going to be easy, for any self-funded startup there are a lot of challenges waiting for you however, that should motivate you not demotivate. When one has a great desire to serve others and a clear vision for themselves, problems seem little or doable and this is how you overcome challenges in life. What lessons you have learned from your professional career? During my engineering days, I saw how things were changing rapidly and different businesses were growing worldwide at a very high pace but something was missing. An image of any business was the most important thing and it is still crucial for any firm to grow as it reflects your identity. A company's website serves as a mirror of that company, providing information about the company's mission, objectives, and goods and services. Consequently, a website should be created so that it mirrors the brand and draws good energy to that company. A website is adept at connecting with potential clients in every part of the globe and instilling brand awareness in their minds. Every visitor becomes a prospective customer, enabling the firm to function around the clock. A good digital presence gives you an opportunity to grow, and I thought if we can provide that opportunity to everyone across the globe, it will be something huge. This lesson propelled me to launch CS's founder. Another major takeaway that I would like to share for fellow businesses is that if you do selfless work for those who are at the lowest end of the pyramid, their smiles will bless you with success and a sense of fulfillment. I have been continuously trying to bring smiles to the underprivileged and I must say that their blessings have certainly enabled us to be known globally and be ranked as the best website design company in Delhi question 5. What do you see as the biggest challenge for brands in the digital space? As I always say, the biggest challenge I see the brands face in the digital space is creating their identity. For the customers, how your business looks in the digital space matters the most and attracts them. If you can see, how things and technology has changed over the time in recent years, it is very dynamic in nature and very difficult for any organization to keep up with changing algorithms. Our firm understands this and it is always up to date with the latest trends to facilitate our clients. Another challenge, if you see for brands in the digital space is competing with big brands and companies for which you actually need a very good digital presence. We believe in website for everyone. No matter how big or small your business may be, we cater to your requirements as and when required so as to give your company a competitive edge. How your product, solution can help to resolve the pain points of your customers. The biggest pain point that we are trying to eradicate with CS's founder is the lack of a consistency of deliverables. I was the victim of this gap. Before founding CS's founder, I too was looking at getting a website built for my previous firm. I moved from website designing companies to freelancers to get the website built but I was not able to get the kind of service that I was looking at. 
it took me two years and the desired website was not in place yet. Seeing the huge market and a serious lack of a brand name, I decided to cater to this market opportunity and create a brand that will be known for quality website designing with professional services. What do you do in your free time? Well, there is no time I would say to be a free time but yes, when I am not working. Me, along with my team spend our time in the slum areas or roads of Delhi NCR. We have a running program known as Free Food for Needy, where every Sunday, we feed the needy and try to bring smiles to underprivileged and less fortunate children. This is what I do, when I am not working or the way you call it, the free time. We have already implemented this program for 5 years now and around 1,50,000 people have been provided meals as we truly believe in community service and giving back to the society as well as people in need. Do you have any advice for those who want to become a chief executive officer? The only advice that I will give to anyone who wants to be an entrepreneur or wants to start a business is to believe on your vision and set goals. Even if you fail, never stop trying keep going and keep improving. Sometimes it is difficult to choose and that is your making of the breaking point. Make sure you give it a good thought before you make any decision. Also, please do give back to the society whatever and whenever you can.